so much Shamblin OSU for the two months. Thank you so much Shamblin. Yeah, I I told you guys I thought Slum would win because it was a game in his style. It's a style that he loves to play. I mean, it was a very attacking kind of game. Minus 13, welcome to the very painful world of being uh being much higher than everybody else you play, as I'm aware of. How, are you covering Max games by chance or you know about them beforehand? No, I didn't actually. I was originally gonna boot uh at 6 30, but then but then I then I then I heard that he was playing, um, so I just booted up early. Yeah. Yeah. You can play F4 and play a Stonewall Jackson here. Um, and now probably just castles. I kind of like the Stonewall, but computer hates it evidently for some reason. Yeah, probably Bishop E2 and Bishop F3. Yeah, B5, Bishop F3, Bishop B7, A3. Or he plays A3. He doesn't go Bishop F3 first. Interesting. But again, this is a slam game. He's going to go Bishop F3, G4, Rook F2, Rook G2, Rook F1. He's going to get his attack again. So this, is a, this is the position that Salam wants. He's going to go G4, Rook F2, Rook F1, and then G5, or Rook G2, G5. This is a slam, this is a slam kind of position. Thanks so much to Soccer for the 18 live trend for the prime. Although Magnus has a 94 idea to kind of stop the whole attack. He still does it again. The problem is there's F6 to kick the pony. Maybe he can go bishop g2. He takes. Computer likes g5 here, which actually is a slam move, by the way. G5 is totally a move that Slem should find based on the style of play that he does, that he has. Yeah, g5 is a total slam move, but he plays f5, which also is quite reasonable because f6 knight g6. I still like Slem's chances here because he is an aggressive attacking player. Stream sniping? No, no, I mean, I had no, I just I had the engine open. He, he oh, so you're saying that basically Slem felt something. But, uh, but he got G confused with F, right? That's what happened. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Um, yeah, he 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 got the he he pushed the wrong pawn. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I see me go H four D D five rook D one also makes sense. Yeah, maybe D five rook D one. If Slum plays this again, I think D 5s got to be played with rook D one. Still not clear. Problem is if black has to play b4, like d I, again, I would go d5 here in a heartbeat. Gotta go d5. Only move here. Because otherwise, black's getting way too fast on the queen side. So he's gonna go for this one. So he's gonna go all in, try to mate him on the on the king's side, which I understand, but I think black's a little bit too fast on the c file here. I mean, you take take queen g2, maybe? I mean, you got to take to open up the lane for the rook. You got to open up the lane. Takes queen g2 and g5. Yeah, exactly what I expected. He's going all in for the big kill with g5. Apparently, d5. Oh, d5 is winning here. Is it rook a7 or something? Very dank. Very inhuman. It plays rook a7, which of course is a human move. Probably d. You can take with the rook, maybe. And g5 anyway. Somebody's gonna lose here. Someone's getting mated. I assume it's probably Celeb, but I'm not actually sure. Well, take yeah, g5, of course, all in. You gotta go g5, I assume. Takes. Queen g4 apparently still zeros. You have g6 and knight h5, maybe? Like g6, bishop c4, knight h5 looks. Scary for black. Oh, the g6 there's bishop d5, knight h5. And there's probably some rook h3 or something. Knight e6. Wow. Um, I think is Magnus is all day here, and he's going to use this time. Apparently, rook e6 is winning. And it's almost the only move, because bishop e6, you just get smashed. Takes and queen g7. The Magnus should find it. These are Anukashin for the... Pro oh! Wait. That's apparently a blunder. Wait, what? Why? Knight g5, queen h6, queen h2. But Salem's using too much time. He's going to use a bunch of time trying to find the knockout blow. And when he doesn't find it, he's just going to lose on clock. Knight g5 is the only move. He's got to go. You got to go, dude. Yeah, he's going to lose on time. It's just too hard. It's too hard to, to play this with 20 seconds. Yeah, and, and now takes king e7 and you have rook h8. Not exactly rocket science. Rook h8. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. Down too much time on clock. 
Too much time. Yeah, just just too too much. Who am I rooting for in tonight's game? It's the it's the Bengals versus the Dolphins. I don't really have anyone specifically, but like last week when it was the Beng or not the Bengals, sorry, last week when it was Steelers versus the Browns, there were a couple players on the Browns who are big chess fans, and on the um, on the Bengals, there of course are two people who love chess: Chidobi Awuzie and uh, maybe I mispronounced it, and of course Joe Burrows, the the star quarterback. So I probably have to root for the um, I have to root for the Bengals. Now they're playing the same line. This didn't work out well for Slim last time. I doubt it's going to work out well again. Why would one add on to the clock? Everybody does it. I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah. Is one of your goals still to be world champion? I mean, if the opportunity presents itself, yes. If the opportunity doesn't present itself, so be it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. What is Joe Burrow's ELO? I don't actually know. Uh, his his username is known. I, I just haven't looked. Uh, I haven't looked closely. So, all right, we get knight c3. So again, black has a pony on the rim. You, again, you never want a pony on the rim in these systems. Magnus is just going to eat him up for eat him up for lunch in this game. He's got the classic Maroxy bind structure, no central pawn breaks. This is going to be a vintage Magnus game. Also, problem for Slim, this is not a good position you want to be in because you don't have obvious moves. Whereas White has uno dos, like one two very maybe it works one right away, but you have like one two very easy free flowing moves. Black has to come up with a plan because he always has to worry about things like knight d5, knight b5, or b4 later. Yeah, so b3 probably rook c8, rook c1, another easy free... Or might have been knight b5, but another free-flowing easy move for white. And already black is down 20 seconds on the clock. Yeah, bishop c3, I mean, this is just a dream. He's also got a pyramid of Giza as well with the knights and the pawns. Maybe queen c3, maybe b4, b5 multiple ideas he goes h4 also logical try to attack this way uh i saw today that benjamin franklin was a high chess fan ours games published are there any interesting chess facts about 1700 chess i i know that benjamin franklin played chess i i believe that um all the early presidents did play chess there was um george washington actually maybe george washington didn't but i know thomas jefferson definitely did james madison i believe was it james madison or was it john quincy I'm not sure, but but I think most of the early like or the early politician guys they they all played chess, um, so to some degree, yeah. Knight c3 played here. Um, let's see what's gonna happen. Probably knight f6, I guess. Slightly weak pawns on d6 and e6 here. Benjamin Franklin was a big Twitch streamer, in fact. Yeah, I know. I know. Who knew? Um, well, hey, if Benjamin Franklin streamed chess, that, that would be that would be phenomenal. I mean, it's 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 better than than you know people like Matt Gates streaming on Twitch. That's for that's for that's for sure. All right. Um what is Slum gonna do here? Because knight b5 targets pawn on d6. This looks pretty, pretty terrible. Pretty terrible here for uh for Slum. But maybe he's okay, maybe h5 again if you take you get sauced on g5 here rook d2 h6 pretty ugly pretty ugly would i play obama on stream of course i would i mean are you crazy of course i would but i don't think i don't think he um i don't i don't think obama i mean i saw some tweet way back when he was the president uh, but it was like some fancy chessboard, but I think it was set up wrong, so a little bit a little bit sketchy on all of that. Probably rook d2, rook d8. Crazy underscore underscore eight. Just Queen d2. Ah, uh, bishop e4, you have knight d6, rook d8, knight f5 with the fossil. Nice idea. Um Bishop c6, knight d6, rook f8. Okay, he's trying to go rook d7. Queen c3 maybe? Queen c3 f6. Something should be breaking here for uh for Salem, but I don't see the maybe queen, queen g5 f6. Feels like something should be breaking here. If you feel too brittle here on the uh center of the board. Computer thinks knight h6, knight f7, and black's maybe holding. Now there's gotta be something like h6. Maybe b5, maybe f4. Uh, maybe it feels like there's something happening here. Yeah, this is pretty... Maybe f4, h6. Or just a4, a5. Just go all in for the big kill. 
He did have rook d7 there, though, I think. Yeah, this is this is just a disaster. No time either. 16 seconds, white has passed pawns. King is open. This is going to fall apart immediately. Which person would, um, which person from Hollywood would you like to give an hour of chess lesson to? I don't, I don't know if there's anyone in particular. Queen f7 should be, uh, I guess you can go to h6 to pretend. Oh, rook d8's nice touch. Did, not even necessary, but it's a nice touch. Queen d5? Or queen, of, actually just queen f, I mean, everything wins. Yeah, Slim just resigns. Okay, so what, 13-2. Let's see if Slum can win a game here. I don't know how many games they're playing. Not sure. Uh, you don't stream in the morning anymore? Um, Maybe you haven't watched my streams lately. This is the only day of the week that I stream in the evening. So uh, usually I do stream in the morning, actually. Um... Maybe you just haven't watched the stream in a while, but I do. You look happy? I mean, I, I'm really happy to watch good chess. I love watching chess. I'm watching... Oh, I'm not watching from Magnus' point of view. Okay. So now that I watch from Magnus' point of view, it's going to jinx him probably, right? Let's see. Okay, now, again, this is classic Salem. He loves these kings and these setups. He's he's beat me pretty pretty badly when I've tried to do this again so a few times. You want to go C6, work C8, B5. The whole idea here. Um... I mean, very, very scary to do this. In fact, I, I want to see, like, can, will the Magnus effect play here or not? Because this, it feels like Magnus is getting absolutely crushed in this position. And as I said, when I tried to play the King's inning against Salem, he's really taking me to the woodshed. So this is pretty tough to play. I mean, maybe you just go Knight C7, Knight A6 and pretend. Okay, H5. Salem, not afraid. Just going all in for the attack. This is very hard to play. Again, problem in this position is the exact same problem white's attack easy clean moves try to go for the kill on the h file magnus has to come up with all the ideas here to try and survive f3 and queen h2 is actually really i think f3 and queen h2 might just win on the spot in fact oh i don't like h6 at all i understand the conceptual point that the bishop's passive there's gonna be some knight before rook d8s this is still good for white it's still good for white, but it's eh, it's a little bit messy. Are there beads in the woodshed? Good one. Yeah, rook d8, king b1, probably bishop h3 to trade some b-shops. If black ever trades, you take with the knight, of course. Or you take with the e-pawn and go knight e4 as well. Very, very hard to play here for, um, for, uh, for Magnus. Goes f4, which is very committal. Or bishop d... No, bishop d4, bishop e5. Is holding so you got to take and then what just 98 maybe this looks really really bad i guess Salem really wants to go bishop b4 but after bishop e5 what's your move did Salem really just miss bishop e5 very poor what I guess takes you to knight d5, but I mean, this is knight e4 and d, d4 and black should eventually unwind and just be better. And knight e4 and black should be able to unwind this eventually. White doesn't have any attacking pieces here. That's the problem. Um, thank you so much to Soho Checkmate. Thank you, Crazy Ape, as well, for the 23 months. Thank you so much, Crazy Ape. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just appalled by what Slum has done in this game. Absolutely appalled. Queen e3 or bishop g2 are the only two moves that make any sense to me at all here. Uh, if chess completely disappeared, could you write most of chess back into history? Very doubtful. Very doubtful. Yeah. That's yeah, what it is. It is what it is, as the saying goes. What I do for exercise, I love playing tennis. I try to play tennis two, three times a week if I can. Which, of course, in, in the Florida heat is really, really good. Oh, yeah. How high can you get if you only play with the white pieces? Um, I don't know. I don't know what the max rating is. Not not really sure. Not sure. Also, look at Slim. He gave up the entire time advantage here. He completely collapsed. Completely collapsed here. Do I like badminton? Um, I've followed it. I don't really play. I, I mean, I, I've never really played it. I... I don't know why Slum used 30 seconds to play Bishop E2. Maybe he's going to stop here. 
Maybe 96, 90. Oh, then there's 95. Maybe not. It takes 95, 94. Get a check, but the king just... Yeah, it's just over. Game over. What was the consensus on when and where chess was invented? I don't know, actually. But I think it, it was... I think it was invented in... India, I believe. It's India, right? Yeah, I mean, everything's losing here for just B5. I mean, Rook C8 was also good, but B5 just very simple. I think it was India, right? There, there, it's like, it's India, Persia, India, India and Persia, right? One of the two. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel like Slem is definitely tilting in this match. He's definitely tilting. Today, we know that the chess, that chess originated from the Gupta Empire 600 uh, CE in India. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, I knew that it was pretty much, it was pretty much, uh, I, I knew it was like India or Persia. I knew it was one of the two. Oh, it was invented in Gary's Garden Shed? Not quite, not quite. But yeah, Salam has been on tilt, it feels like, for much of the, um, for, for much of this, uh, this, this, um, this, uh, this game. Or much of this match, sorry, not game, what am I saying? And again, Magus gets an end game. I would expect him to, to win this, I, I would think. Like, C3, castles, maybe knight D3. I don't know which way he's going to put the bishop or what he's going to do. Knight D3, E6. Got to go E6. If you don't play E6 here, what are you playing for? Are we still number one? No. Uh, I don't think at any point during this match, Magnus hasn't been higher rated. But, yeah. Um, apparently, A4 is not a great move. Weird. Don't know why. Thanks for saying Neo for the five months. Thanks so much to Neo. Or Nio H. Thank you so much. Knight C6. Got to develop. I guess he's worried about A6. Interesting. Yeah, now you got to go Knight C6. I mean, see, the way Salem is playing, he's, he's not... He's definitely not playing as quick as he should be. So he's sort of second-guessing himself too much. That's not to say that everyone doesn't do it, by the way, just to be clear. I mean, maybe he's going to go B4 and Knight C5, maybe? If you don't go B4, this pawn and A5 is a touch offer. B6, obviously. Or computer likes B5, go figure, but B6 feels safer. Plays B5, okay. Pawn can't be touched. Probably work C8 and B4. Your rating is 32 32. It's time to get in on the action to get your spot back. I'll I'll play at some point. But tonight we're just kind of chilling. We have Thursday night football. We're we're gonna be we're gonna be enjoying enjoying that. And um yeah, it's I probably won't be playing Blitz. And you gotta move though. Well, I'm just too slow. Too slow at these critical moments. Just too slow here. Highest rated player ever was uh, is, is me at 33-32. I couldn't win that last game. Still, to this day, it still irks me that I couldn't couldn't get to the 3-3-3-3 the three, 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 three club. It still irks me. Not going to lie. Thanks for the all for the seven months. Thanks so much. That was against one of the Armenian kids. I don't remember which one. 97, maybe 97, 95. Maybe e5 and d4. Oh, computer actually loves e5, d4. Um, I'm trying to go bishop h6. Um, it was one of the uh, it was one of the Armenian kids. I don't remember which one it was, but um, apparently e5, d4 is still good. I, I don't. Remember. It was not Tigran. It was not. It was not one of the obvious ones. It was one of the ones that was like an FM. I just don't remember who it was right off. You're gonna say this is a draw? I don't know. Your podcast was really good. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean. Try to do what I can. I mean, I, I really hope that Fabian and Christian have success with it. I mean, it's a, it's a great, great opportunity. It seems like people are big fans of it. So uh, I, I, I hope they have success. Definitely. Bishop C5, interesting choice. Because now the bishop is dead, actually, on C5. And G7, of course, to dodge knight E5. He won... Knight b8, maybe. Uh, or no, rook d7, then maybe knight b8. Problem is, white's bishop is actually dead on c5. You can't really do anything with the bishop. It's stuck. 
the black can go rook d7 and move the knight he can play around the bishop on c5 here it's not a bad bishop but it, it actually has no squares right now and your knight can't jump either which is probably why magnus is thinking so long here because he's like he i think realizes that this bishop doesn't have uh have any scope when you said that you really do it to make people happy in the podcast it warmed everyone's heart i mean it's all about the fans end of the day it, it really is about the fans rook d7 of course that hangs a7 dude i mean that's crazy i was literally thinking rook d7 the heck like i literally initially said knight b and i'm like oh right there's bishop a7 so you can't do it yeah knight b4 and rook a5 and you're just gonna get crushed on the queen side here rook a5 or rook a6 and then rook h1 rook a1 and not rocket science yeah rook h1 you have my next six hashtag September. thank you so much a four player chess for the 18 months thank you so much a four player chess yeah i mean just no shot no shot bucko as we like to say rook a7 is good enough or knight a7 knight is a more precise technically takes rook b6 rook b6 or king before both work i'd probably play rook b6 but it goes king before which of course is, is still more than enough because you just go rook a7 have you ever done a sober stream brother uh i'm good i mean it's probably because i had some coffee if i sound like i'm going too fast but no i'm feeling pretty good yeah Wait, was there a checkmate in there? Wait a second. I don't think it was. I don't think it was checkmate, but it looked like it might be. Is Magnus gonna stop here? No, I guess not. Okay. I think there's a Falcone for the Prime. These are a Falcone. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, I just have some coffee from Costco. Uh, I went to Costco, got my uh, my instant coffee earlier today. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. yeah okay Mag is playing Bishop f5 this is a classic Gata Kamsky setup he, he likes to do this whole a6 c6 e6 thing with Bishop f5 so very Gata style xqc never done a sober stream good one yeah instant coffee coffee snobs and shambles I've never been someone like that you guys I'm sorry I I I didn't I didn't grow up uh I didn't grow up rich so uh I I mean sorry sorry what can I say okay white wants to go e4 here and just them go bishop e3 and target the rook very scary position here actually very scary position is my assessment right now that you're way more relaxed than Fabiano and Christian compared to with Dina post games I mean of course I am I mean like in a way Christian and Fabiano like they're they're part of the brotherhood so yeah I mean I I'm, I mean I don't know like yeah <laughs> I, I mean maybe maybe I've, maybe that sounds wrong when I put it that way but I mean they're, they're like we're all part of the brotherhood so yeah probably bishop e3 or bishop f4 I don't know which one Is bishop e3 logical to play d5 and scope the rook d5 and queen c wait d5 takes queen c3 isn't that just how did he not play d5 and queen c3 I guarantee you that if, if Slum was playing me, he would have played d5 in two seconds. He would have played d5 and queen c3 in two seconds. That's 100% Magnus effect. 100%. 100%. He would have played d5 in two seconds against me. No doubt. No doubt about it. Now, of course, computer likes bishop h3 and knight c3, which I was going to say doesn't seem normal. Okay, knight c3. He was going to draw d's for the 505. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I mean, you got to go like... I guess D, no d5 there's taking bishop h3 maybe just rook d1 and d5 okay, d5 you, you got to do it sooner or later I assume MR Warlock 616 just subscribed. even time but this is where slum has to make a decision in the next 10 seconds you cannot go into a 20 or 30 second think here because d5 rookie seven there's no knockout blow so you cannot use more than about 10 seconds but he's gonna okay so he does make the decision good amount of time to do it and he'll take take and go a3 and he should be better but long way to go b3 
Ah, uh, maybe he wants to try and simplify. Take six, takes here. Take six, rookie eight. I don't see it though. I don't see why he's he's maybe queen e three, bishop e six. I don't see it. Takes bishop c five, trade and rookie eight. And I mean, you trade queen e three, bishop e six, and I don't see why white's better. Thank you so much, Mr. Warlock, for the 13 months. Thank you so much to Awoken Ghost for the uh, tier one. By the way, isn't it funny how I an analyze this? Like, Queen E3, Bishop E6. Like, I analyzed this when he was using 30 seconds. And this, again, is one of the big differences between myself um, and, like, Salem. Is that, like, I spotted this in, like, 5 to 10 seconds. He spent 30 seconds. And those 20 seconds that he could have had here are, are probably going to come back to bite him in the you-know-what. In 97, Queen A7. I mean, he should be able to draw this if he... If, but it's and i think he's he's missed the boat a little bit c5 now and he's just worse he's with king damien like if he had 20 seconds more here but now he's down he's down 20 seconds and he's down a pawn and he's gonna lose just that simple or vibrate him in the you know what good one yeah i mean i guess you just take and now just knight f6 and black's just winning because bishop e5 queen d8 and all end game well maybe not all end games are lost but yeah bishop e5 queen d8 and i think black's just winning of course magnus sees it obviously not not a big shock there queen d4 may be actually a good move though oh uh, wait magnus just blundered here because bishop d5 takes its opposite colors and knight d5 is also opposite colors and if you don't go if you don't block there's bishop b7 and you're oh magnus just made a blunder yeah takes of course i mean king f2 king i mean king f king e2 king e3 this is just a draw f3 come on dude you just move i just f3 easy draw i'm not sure he will draw this but he should it should be a draw i mean i would pre-move f3 here honestly Bishop c3. Okay, it goes h. Actually, h5 I like. King f4. And now you can just sit on b2 and c3. Takes and bishop c3. Bishop d4. Just keep sitting. Keep sitting. You don't take because then black gets the white people. It's still a draw, but it doesn't matter. And you can always pre move fg4 too. Takes, takes. King f4, bishop g, bishop f6, king f3, king f3 only move here. Come on, you gotta go, dude. He's gonna lose. I don't believe this. He's yeah, he's gonna lose. King e3, bishop g3, king f3, king e3. What? What was bishop e1? Oh my gosh! What a choke! What a choke! Thank you, Macheo Park, for the prime. What a choke! What a choke! You had to go king e3 and then king d3. What a choke. Unbelievable choke. Yeah, that was an unbelievable choke by Slab. There was no way to lose that. But he, again, he was a little bit too slow at the critical moment. And he pays a huge price. Yeah. Huge, huge price there. He also missed... Uh, what He missed... Uh, he had g5 somewhere, I think which i think was an easy draw but yeah that that was very poor because like, like the reason it was poor is when the first first cycle happened with the the uh king e5 king e3 he should have been calculating c3 king e3 there and then when it occurs again he should already have that in his mind you no know, sacrifice was of course the only way to try and win so magnus did it um but actually you guys i said it again didn't i i said time i said it was going to come back to bite him and those 20 seconds that he lost on that calculation it did it did cost him those 20 seconds it did if he had those tw 20 seconds more it's a, he draws it so the time really did actually i did prophesize what was going to happen magnus is going to crush him in this game by the way h5 is just very strong here knight f6 may be the only move but i'm not loving it yeah Knight F you gotta go knight f6 sooner or later you gotta do it dude knight f6 knight f6 maybe knight f6 finally does it but maybe knight h maybe knight h4 knight g4 though knight a 
I b3 though. White wants to go f4 and just go all in here. Whoa. I thought that was kind of insane, but maybe it's not. F4, I assume? Maybe there's some knight F1. Queen H4, maybe? Black can somehow get developed here. Like, Queen H4, Knight D7, Knight F6. He'll be okay, but he's down 30 seconds, and it's pretty scary to play this position. I think Queen H4 is almost the only move. H4, Queen H5, you just resign. Come on, Slam. Yeah, what's he doing here? Nah, that's no good. No good. Also, you just take and go check in Bishop H6, I think. Don't you have, like, check and Bishop... Check and Bishop H6. Check and Bishop H6 just looks like disaster time. Or Queen, Queen H4 also probably good, because you can't take, so F6 check. G8, C4. I mean, this is just a total disaster. This is just, yeah, he's just gonna lose here. Yeah, King G. I mean, King G8, C4. I mean, actually, C4 there is knight D5. Wait, maybe not so simple. But knight G4 and knight D5, knight H6, and your king is just completely naked here, and it's game over. Uh, what's your rating right now? It's 3232 right now. My rating is pretty decent. Can't complain. But again, like, I wasn't planning on, on really playing. I was planning on just covering the drama, and this popped up, so we're covering this instead. But if I'm not really in the mood to actually play, it's it's going to be very hard for me to randomly just, like, turn it on. Naked King, I don't want to see. Good one. Yeah, I mean, there's Rookie 3. Yeah, it's just... Maybe... Somehow, I mean, this is... Rook G6 is good enough. Rook D1's probably good. Bishop D1 is probably good. Queen G... Well, Queen G5, there's Rook G8. I thought Rook G8 was the only move. But now Bishop G7 just ends it. Because then the Knight has to move, and there's going to be something bad happening on the diagonal, too. Yeah, that's just a disaster. Salem will resign. I think they're close to the end. I don't think... Uh, I think it's so much enough for the 22 months. I don't think Salem is going to play much more, I'm guessing. I don't think it's actually about Magnus. I think it's Salem who just doesn't want to play. Because Salem never plays, uh, never plays these, like, these, these hippo modern setups. He's always very to the point and plays aggressively. Yeah. Hi, are Greetings from a Salvadorian guy living in Belgium, uh, but working with a U.S. schedule. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Hope all's good. So, all right. 32-32 is massive as you play two TDs and Arena Kings. Your games bring a lot of joy. I mean, the thing is, like, Magnus, is, I think if you're if you're not playing Title Tuesday and Arena Kings, it's actually much easier to get a higher rating. But if you if you play if you play Arena Kings and Title Tuesday, I mean, I have to be basically perfect. I mean, not I have to be perfect to not lose points, but I also have to be like just below perfect to not like lose 30 points every time I play an Arena King. So it's very tough. But that's content for you, which I think speaks a lot to when people think like I if people think that I really care that much about the number one rating. I don't because if I did, I would never play Arena Kings at all. But content is king at the end of the day. Do I think I could get 80% on guess the move for Magnus? Probably, probably. Um uh Okay, I mean, takes f4 has got to be the idea that Slum has in mind. I actually like Slum's position here. He's got a knight d5, and he's got f4. If he's not getting killed on the king's side, I think his position is pretty decent. f4? Oh, no, but f4, there's bishop g3 and queen h4. Ah, rook g1, knight f8, maybe knight d5. I mean, this is a Slum kind of game, by the way, or f4, actually, because the pawn's under attack. This is a Slum position. If Salem plays this well, he should win this game. If he plays f4, I think Salem is going to win the game. If he plays f4. But now he's going to burn all his time, and he's not going to play f4, of course. Again, knight d5 or f4. Like, you got to do it. Oh, now f4, there might be some nastiness with queen h3. But again, Salem's up on time. He's got to do it. You just got to go. 
He just doesn't have that, like, yeah, he plays that for now, but apparently this is just very bad now. Don't ask me why. Why is it bad with the queen? Oh, probably because black and castle here. Wait, why was this so bad? Wait, I'm so confused. Why was that four so good? I, I mean, I guess I can't do analysis on the live board. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not contractually obligated to play a certain number of Arena Kings or Title Tuesdays. No, I'm not. I can. I can just not play them if I want to. But Title Tuesday and Arena Kings are great content, so I play them regardless. Yeah. See, and just like that, he's down 10 seconds. He missed the boat. This pendulum swings the other way in terms of momentum, and Magnus will win this game almost for sure. Good move by... Oh, wait, but takes takes knight b5? Uh, maybe you can take with a king? Maybe. This is still a position that I feel like Salem should like or be happy with, even if he's much worse. Like, bishop e3, c3, and some a6, bishop b5 bunk. Although now he's not even going to get an attack. So now it's just terrible. Like knight e5. Knight e5 and knight g4, actually. Knight g4 is a huge hook. Huge hook, and it's just GG. And knight e5, which b5, knight g4, and you just resign, I think. And knight g4, and you're just hooked. Oh, apparently computer likes just castles here. You have b6, and where's your... You, yeah, but knight g4, again, is a big hook. Doesn't spot it. Interesting. Takes... You got to take, of course. It's the only only prayer you have. Very shocked that he's thinking. I mean, Salem of all people would take and sack against me, but here he doesn't do it, which is just bizarre. Magnus stream sniping for moves, I doubt it. But yeah, Salem probably, to be fair to him, he is completely tilted. To be fair, he, he is definitely tilted. I mean, every, everything is just winning here. There's just no attack. The king is very safe. I mean, knight e3 is good. Knight e5 is good. Bishop g6 also probably just wins. Queen e7, rookie. I mean, everything probably just wins here. I don't know. Bishop g6 looks like the most obvious one to me. Yeah, and of course, Ma of course Magnus plays it. Why am I not surprised? Um, oh, but if takes with bishop c6, does Slump find a little trick? Bishop c6? Wait, did, wait, did Slim trick Magnus somehow? Takes? Wait, 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 wait a second. There's a7? He did trick him, but it's very tricky. A5? Rook h2? Oh, whoa, b6 is, oh, whoa, wait a second. Apparently this is winning with rookie one, but it's so hard to play. G3 and you resign. <laughs> yep. Rookie H G8. I mean, yeah, this is not difficult. Rook H7 maybe. B6, B3, B2, of course. Yeah, not not hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the bottom line is Slem is just too, too slow. He gets his chances. Like, even this game, he got his chances. But the time was just, he was just down too much time. Down too much time. And he's got, what, six seconds? Yeah, I mean, he's got no, yeah, King B5, not rocket science. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. I think that's it. I doubt Slem is going to play more. He's so tilted. Although I could challenge him. No, no, he's still, he's going to play more. I don't know why he's still playing. Dilemma is, I think, 28, maybe? 27, 28. Yeah. The behavioral panel reviewed Hans Neiman's interviews. Lots of deception, lying, avoiding questions, etc. I have heard about it, but wasn't the video, like, super long? I, I mean, I, I don't know what they said exactly, but I heard that they were doing something on the topic. But, um, but yeah. I, I don't know what what exactly that what exactly they they said, but yeah. I I assume that yeah. I mean, Magnus probably is is just gonna keep playing. He doesn't care. But I'm just surprised that Slem didn't didn't stop. I assume Slem would have stopped at uh at twenty. But maybe he just wants to keep playing.
We'd rather watch you play the Magnus. Um, I mean, I could play if there's anybody online, but there aren't many people online. This is the problem. There, there just aren't. So, yeah, it's, it's what it is. And we are going to cover some drama. Just to be clear, you guys, we are going to cover the drama before um, Magnus is online. Yeah, no, I know you guys are being funny, but like, I'm looking at the list. I mean, I could challenge Jose. Let's see if Jose wants to play. Um... Challenge Jose. I challenge Jocelyn. By the way, of course, Slum just blunders a basic tactic again. Yeah, I challenge Jose. Let's see if he wants to play. I mean, 20 is a pretty good spot. Let's see. Who's... who's... Let's see if there's anybody else. Um, I mean, Rustamov's challenging me, but he's 28-30. That's not who I want to play right now. I mean, because if I lose even one game, I, I it just ruins the, ruins everything. Um, let's see. Yeah. Challenge Magnus, right? Yeah. 28-30 is way too low for me to play against. Um, yeah, Jose's not accepting. Yeah, Jose's not accepting. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop with the, the match. We're going to move on. We have some drama that we need to cover as well. So I'm going to stop watching the game for the time being, and we are going to move on. Um, uh, let, 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 let's move on to our next set of scheduled content.